Hi, Chef Robert at the Willow Room. Uh, today we're going to be making some cranberry relish. For all those uh, who make a tremendous Thanksgiving dinner and open a can of whatever that is, cranberry stuff in a can, please stop. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make a delicious cranberry relish. Okay, like I told you, this is a very simple recipe and I wasn't kidding. Uh, cranberry juice into your pan. Your two cups of cranberries. When you buy your cranberries, just check them out through the bag. <clears throat> Make sure they're firm, they're not wilted. So we have that in our pan. We put our nutmeg in, our cinnamon, our brown sugar, and our regular sugar. Mix that up. The sugar will melt uh, a little better once we get it on a flame. And that's it. We're going to put this on a medium flame. I'm going to bring that to a simmer. It's going to take about 20 minutes. You want to let that simmer. You'll see the cranberries will start to pop. What will happen, it will start getting thicker. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get this orange zest. There's a couple different ways. There's a zester you can buy at a, uh, at a food store that sells uh, different food equipment. But everybody has a box grater in their house. If you take an orange on, on this, this bigger, sharper orange setting, and just run your orange over the box grater until it's uh, getting the zest off of it like that. You're going to need three tablespoons of the orange zest. So once you have that all accumulated, just take a chef's knife and dice that up very fine. Like I've done here. That's uh, basically what that is there. So you have that. And this also goes into your cranberries. After the 20 minutes, you're going to take your dry cherries and add those to the pot. And it's going to give you something that looks like this. Very delicious cranberry cherry relish that your guests will love. And I'll make them say gobble, gobble, gobble. Uh, what you can do is take an orange. Take a little slice of the orange, cut the orange like this and just twist it and use that as a garnish. So very quick, very easy, you won't have to open a can and you'll be all set for Thanksgiving. So until next time, eat well. Thanks.